Hey guys and welcome back to G's Autos. Thank you so much for tuning in. Well, this is a walkthrough video of um, removing and dismantling the blower motor in my Starlet. The AC stopped working and I wasn't too sure whether it was the AC uh, fan speed switch or whether it was the blower motor. So it ended up being the blower motor, so I removed it out of the um, from underneath the dash and stripped it all down and cleaned it and, and inspected it and got everything back together and running again. So if you're interested in doing the same thing, hopefully you might find this video uh, very helpful for you. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. This is one of those things I just enjoyed pulling apart and cleaning up and uh, getting it back together. Anyway, guys, enough out of me. I hope you liked the video. Please like, share, subscribe, and keep an eye out for more content on the Starlet and everything else going on. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, guys, so the, um, the AC has stopped working in the car. Now, you can feel the pump, hear the pump kick in, and you can feel cold air coming through very, very slowly, but um, there's no fan. So what happened was it just stopped working one day, um, even though this can be turned on. Oh, sorry, even though this can be turned on, the fan speed switch, you're not getting any um, cold air, the fan doesn't turn on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the fan. The fan is making a ticking noise, whether that has anything to do with it. Uh, in the early model Corollas, uh, so the AE82s, there used to be a, um, a rev limiter dial. I'm going to check to see if that's, if you know, if they're even in this car. I just want to check all the wiring connections, see if there's any frayed or chewed wiring. Uh, it could be something as simple as just a faulty uh, fan speed switch. So I'm going to strip it all out, have a look, clean the fan, and uh, so we'll get into that now and uh, see what we find. Okay, to remove the uh, glove box, you've got a, uh, a 10 mil there, and you've also got a 10 mil on the opposite side. Now, once you've got those, you've also got... Just up in here, you'll see one there, actually, sorry, one there, one there, and one on the other side. They're just three Phillips head uh, screws. Take that out, and it does kind of just sits up in there. That's the last bit you just kind of need to just gently kind of pull out. Don't reef on it at 100 miles an hour. And then that gives you full access to the fan and also your ECU. So it's a bit dirty down there, a lot of dust. I'll clean all that up. I wanna check the wiring. I wanna check the wiring for any cuts or fraying or bad connections and just see if we can try and narrow down if we've got an issue in here somewhere. So, uh, yep, let's get in and do that now. All right, fan motor is out. So there's just one electrical plug there that connects to it and then there's three 8 mil little bolts holding them in. You can use a Phillips head screwdriver if need be. Now in regards to dirt and cleanliness it's not too bad, very easy to clean, that won't be a hard job. Um, now, in regards to all your connectors, that one there is the one that connects to the uh, the fan motor. Now, don't be too concerned when you're pulling all these apart. Blue goes to blue, white goes to white. So don't be too worried about that. And um, so, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this up later. I'll hook it up here first, see if I can get it working. And then um, I'll wriggle some wires and just see if it's something like that. If not, I'll move on to the next test. All right, I've just um, reconnected the uh, fan motor and I've propped it up onto a um, good old Toyota rim. And it actually works. It's, it's not very balanced and it's making a bit of noise, but it is working. It looks like sometimes it, it feels like it's um, it struggles a little bit. But it shouldn't be making that much noise. It should be um, absolutely quiet. You can hear that ticking noise.
Okay, I'm guessing the bearing's toast, so just watch this. It'll actually stop and it won't get going again. Give it a bit of a nudge, whoop, and off she goes. So I'd say the bearing in this is um, probably toast. It chunks and yeah, tries to take off. I decided to pull this one apart and have a look at it. And as you can see, look at the crud that's in there. Hopefully you can see that okay. So I'm actually going to clean all this out and see if we can get this working again properly. So there were just two little Phillips head screws on the back there. I've removed those and there was some fabric tape, sorry, going around the side there. Once that was removed, I was able to take that part off and get access to the center there. So as you can see, that look at that crud in there. So I'm going to clean it all out, pull it apart, give it a super duper clean, and see if we can bring this one back to life. All right, I've removed, um, I've separated basically everything out. There's the motor. There's that cap from before that I showed you. And the inside of the housing, which I'll give a really good clean. Everything's just really filthy, a lot of buildup of yuck, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is, I've got some contact cleaner. I'm going to give this a really good clean, a fair bit of wear through there. But look, I'll clean it up and see if I can get this working back to normal. Uh, to take this part of the fan off, that's just a 10 mil nut on there. Take that off and then on the other side there is a just a flat washer. And uh, locks it all onto the onto the shaft there so I'll get into this I've got a an array of brushes always handy to have heaps and heaps of brushes um, so I'll get into this now all right guys I've removed the rubber seal that runs around the outside edge here sorry just there and underneath normally you might get some uh, rust surface rust which you'll see I I've got and a bit on the uh, outside there so I'm just going to give this a quick hit of uh, rust converter probably do two or three coats and just to clean that up and uh, get it looking a lot better and then I don't have to worry about that rusting out all right so here is all the uh, cleaning done so the fans being cleaned look not perfect there's still little bits of you know fine bits of dirt in there I'm not worried about it it's cleaner than what it was uh, the housing came up good. That's all been painted. Spin that around. That's come up good. Uh, the rubber seal. That's all been cleaned up. That's all done. And the motor. The brushes, are, there's still a clicking noise. You probably can't hear it, but there's still a clicking noise. That will be the brushes. They're very well worn. Um, so what I've done is put a little bit of grease onto this shaft before it went into the end cap. Uh, so just to help that uh, rotate a bit smoother. And I'll put some uh, grease in there as well to help that end. Uh, the cool air duct has had a quick clean and all this will go back together. Uh, as a complete unit and then we'll uh, have a look. There you go guys, the fan is back in action. You will may you may still hear a, a clicking noise. And that noise is uh, the brushes. They are very well worn. Uh, worst case scenario is I'll get a new set of brushes but everything else seems A-OK. -okay. The clean has done a really good job. So we'll just go through the fan speeds. before it wouldn't start up. 
now it's starting up on its own so giving it a really good clean has obviously helped and uh, putting some grease onto those shafts has uh, certainly uh, loosened it up a fair bit so all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video um, please like share subscribe that would be greatly appreciated and i'll have more content coming up on the starlet and the other projects as we work through them all right guys thanks for watching and i'll see you next time